have the wins like that, but if you looked at some of their No John's results, they would usually get second or third with a lot of great players in house. Underneath them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's one of the biggest questions of teams. Is it singular good versus chemistry? And but anyway, guys, here we go. This is going to be the second doubles match on stream. Kage and Toph versus the Moon and Slots, and they're going right into it. Here we go. We have both Slots and the Moon off stage. My goodness, so much damage has been inflicted on the red team. Yeah, and also one thing that's really weird, we're actually seeing Slox go to one of his uh, renowned secondaries in Fox. But he's getting a couple of solid opportunities not to make too much of them. Of course, Ganon is usually going to be fading back, trying to outspace with, with his fares and just do a lot of damage. He's usually better suited in teams for, uh, for cleanup duty, I would say. Wow, and... And just like that, it, oh, this, oh, that was just almost a really bad situation. <gasps> oh, oh my god. Toph just gave it away, but Kage took it back with those Timberland boots. Let me just tell you, the only reason all that happened was because of Kage giving up his positioning, if you noticed, with that down B yes. when he went off stage. That wizard's foot. All control was lost. They were really good as far as positioning was concerned and everything. And here we go, we have New York in the background. Well, we'll just say... It's Tri-State. It's Tri-State, man. Because we have invaders here. We have the West Coast as well as Montreal. Pretty excited to see what Slox and the Moon have to bring to the table here because Toph and Kage are actually pretty seasoned players. Oh, it's definitely yeah. so. This guy's been around the block. No, one thing I always talk about with Toph, he's a really good player, but he's just, I think it's a fox thing. There are a lot of good foxes, and it seems a lot of them are really sporadic. I mean, we've seen that with guys like Lovage, with guys like even Silent Wolf at times, and especially Lucky. Um, but once a Fox main like Silent Wolf or like Leffen now becomes more static and is more consistent, they just become something entirely different of a monster. And I think that's one thing that Tope is still working on, getting that consistency, because he's such an intelligent player. He knows the book very, very well. He really does, and such an amazing combination right there. Good edge guard by the moon. Nice. And now the green team, one stock apiece. Looking a pretty scary right here. Oh, definitely so. But Kage, it's this is this is what they call a veteran advantage. Yep, it looks like they're trying to close the gap as fast as they can. But with all the damage that Ganon can rack up, especially with Slox being up there on the top platform, you oh, do definitely. not want to be there against Ganondorf. And also, I mean, we've got Toph who is known for pulling off some of the grimiest, grittiest, and slimiest shine KOs out there. Absolutely. You would not want to be caught near an edge against that guy's fox. He but will press down B, and it'll be your stop. However, Kage was in trouble, but he comes down with a good cannon fist. This is looking scary because Toph is actually running in with a lot of up smashes. The moon has to watch out. Yep, because the moon will probably lose that stock. And this should be it. Yeah. That I think Toph could actually... Okay. Nope. It almost looked like he could still come back. Beautiful stuff by Toph. Immediate back air off the ledge. And now Slox and the Moon are up one stock against Kage and Toph. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. This is East Coast versus, uh, I guess, OOS. So, like, we have Canada and... Um, which part of Canada is Kage from? Montreal, from? Quebec. So, that's the eastern side, right? Yep. Okay. So Those are the uh, the French people yeah. who... Uh, oui, oui, mon frère. Oh, I'm that's sorry. Je m'appelle Proc. Okay. That's all I know. There you go. All right. Très bien. Très bien. <laughs> but yeah, we are going back to it. Let me look here. Right now. Okay. And here we're back. Um, Battlefield or bust once again, guys. Hack stupid rule. This is the <laughs> only stage you're supposed to play, man. In the year 20XX, but we are here in 2013. <laughs> XX has not arrived yet. Oh, man. I can't wait for you to explain that joke to me. I still have yet to <laughs> fully understand it. <laughs> oh, man. All right, good stuff so far. Um, the red team still looks like they're pretty much in control. Yeah, well, one I thing that the moon is always cognizant of is Ooh. stage positioning. Yes. But Kage snuck in and was able to take ledge before moon made it back, so. And it looks like the moon is pretty hungry for Kage's stop right there. Beautiful tipper. Yep, and we see that two-on-one situation. Also, we see them peeling off these one-on-one situations. Usually, you're going to see a lot more uh, a lot more urgency to rush and help your partner out, your teammate out. Instead, I think they're confident in saying that we'll take the one-on-one -on -one game. But again, this is this is the moon. You don't want to give him any chances. 
Yeah, his punishes are the scariest thing about this guy is are his punishes, man. Like if he gets if he grabs you or gets an up tilt, something, you know, that puts you in the air, it's it's gonna be bad. No, he has great punishes, and I think that the thing that makes him just as scary is combined with that DJ status and style of just how patient he is. Yeah, really like like you said earlier before at many tournaments, uh, he's a pensive player. Would you say? Yes, very pensive, very intelligent. And he's always trying to not attack where you are. He attacks where he thinks you're, you're going to be. Yeah, exactly. And I think that's one thing that separates a lot of players that are coming up and those that are already there. That's true. Um, but Toph with beautiful recognition after catching uh, Ganon's back air, Moon. Uh, I don't even know what I just said, but Toph was there to pick up the pieces with an up air and finish off the Moon after Ganon's back air. I really like the green team in this match. It kind of looks like they're turning to... Um, turn the tables around. Oh, definitely so. I mean, they're still at you know pretty dangerous percents as Toph loses that stock, but they still have a pretty solid lead, especially with Slocks at basically KO percent. Ooh, dirty stuff from Toph. Did you see that quick turn, that quick uh, dash dance? Pause for a second, and then threw a back air in his face, just trying to interrupt any out of shield option. Really smart stuff. Really smart stuff. Said it right before I did. <laughs> right now, it looks like the green team is not let, trying to let anybody on the red team get their footing. The moon just may not be able to get. Oh my gosh! That was an opportunity right there for him to lose his um, stock really early, too. He needs to be careful. I think Tokyo Skyrim that second jump. Oh, this is going to look disgusting. <gasps> All right. Slots is still alive. But is he going to make this one? Not with the eye like that, unfortunately. So we're going to go game two. Uh, pardon me, game three. This is going to be the deciding game. So 1-1. One, one, and look at that expression on the moon's face. He looks... He's still focused. Not that trying to on at all. Um, both teams look like they're sticking with their guns. So that's going to be... Uh, that's a good sign. Neither one feels like they were really outplayed there. Yeah. Uh, as they both have dropped a game. But... It's going to be down to this last stage, and who really can build momentum? Again, you know, if you're running into Ganon stuff, it's going to hurt you a lot more than it's going to hurt him. Trades are usually in his favor. And especially on small stages, not a good place to be. Yeah, uh, I actually hope these guys do ban Yoshi's... Yoshi, you think they'll ban Yoshi's Island? Or you think... I, I know they wouldn't want to go there. Like, there's a Ganondorf and a Fox there, even if they have Fox and Mark. You know... What do you think? It's... Yoshi's? No. I don't know. I, I, I honestly have no idea. They might do all three games of Battlefield, but they're going... <gasps> okay. Whew. Man, almost got a heart Stadium? attack. S stadium? Oh, I don't know. I mean, they have a lot of different options here. So okay, we're going, going to stadium. stadium. And no character change. We're going right into it, guys. So, of course, when you're talking about the neutral game, D1, everyone usually talks about just how to get that hit and what to get off of it. But the moon! Oh, the my, moon, my goodness. That was an absolute... He took him around the world. Oh. The moon had Kage in orbit. <laughs> oh, pardon me, Tope in orbit. Oh, my God. That was too much. I, I'm still in shock. Wow, all right, what a... <laughs> What a statement, man. The match just started, and he's like, I just wanted to let you guys know, you're not going to win this match. That's and probably what he's trying to say. Toph already has lost two stocks. Two stocks. You know, that's, it's one thing to lose a stock, of course. It's another thing to be demolished on one. You have to wonder how that affects his mental game. Some players might just be rattled after a They would crumble. Death. Yeah. Yeah. But Toph looks like he's starting to get some of this back. And Kage with those strong hits... And the moon, wise, wise, staying on the platform, saying, I'm going to wait. I still have some invincibility. I want to stay as long as possible, just so I can interrupt at the last moment, make sure I'm still invincible. That's a good veteran move from it's still a pretty new player. And here we go. It looks like Toph is the first one to jump into the pit. And finds himself off stage. Now, what's going to happen here? And the moon had it lined up, but just didn't uh, go for it. And Tope getting both of them off of him with the double shine. You know, that tech skill of his is, I think, it's really, really solid. But, of course, like every, no one's perfect, but he's pretty good most of the time. 
and slots right there. Good interrupt when Kage had his partner on the ropes. And this is the scary thing right here because if both players of the red team loses their stock, it's it might just essentially be a close match, you know, like because once the Fox loses his stock, they just might be at three stocks each right. on both sides, you know. But man, I think slots might just be green team right now is actually building some solid synergy. Absolutely. You know, they're discussing who's Ooh. doing what on uh, edge guards. And we're seeing them respecting each other and letting them finish each other's plates, basically, in these team combos. By the way, I don't know if that was the eye by cock. Oh, wow. Nice down throw up smash with the moon is still alive. Moon on its final stock with 105%. And Slox getting him off his partner. Good stuff. Kage reads on roll. Ooh, this is so tight. Yep. Tof will go for that up smash. <gasps> the moon may try to go for another zero to death. He gets He's the grab. He's going for it. Oh, my. The moon misses it. He didn't get the right hitbox on that. And they have brought it back. And Kage is still alive. He's living. Oh, he gets near off stage. The moon tried to snipe out that firefox. Just wow. Didn't happen, though. Moon by himself. Nice roll. Didn't get punished. Boom. He doesn't get and it. He went and for there it. There you have it. Good Ooh, try. Good try. Good try. Congratulations to Kage and Tove, man. What an intense game. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we call a nail biter. Wow. That's going to be the first of many here. Wow. This is round six, guys. Get ready, because the weekend just got started, man. This that's is only, only the, the beginning. second set that we've aired, and already. Second. Ooh. Wow. Jeez. And I guess.